Welcome to 5MinuteTutorials.com. This is an Adobe Illustrator CS6 tutorial. It will work in all previous versions, CS versions of Illustrator. We're going to discuss the brush tool, the pencil tool, the blob brush, and the eraser tool. I'll start with the pencil tool. When you work with the pencil, the important thing to note is that it is going to create a uniform nine, and it's going to ignore any brush definition that you have. So as I click and drag, you'll notice now that this has uh, the brush definition defaults back to basic. So anytime you need a simple uh, path, uh, you want to use the pencil tool. I often use this anytime I need to create a quick path to use my type on path tool because I know I'm not going to apply any artistic qualities to this particular line. The brush tool works exactly the same. You click and drag and it creates the same type of line. The uh, difference with it is I'm going to select the brush tool now, select that path with my selection tool, and then come in here now and apply a stroke to it. Now I'm going to and there you go. Now you see I've got this uh, particular stroke here and I can toggle through these and it's going to keep applying these strokes here. Now if I leave this particular stroke on and I take my brush tool and I create a brand new path it automatically creates that stroke whatever I have in my brush definition. The pencil tool will ignore that and just go back to a simple line. Now with either of these you can go ahead and select it and increase the actual stroke width and it will increase the thickness of that particular stroke, even the basic pen, uh, pencil line. Now there are some other options available. That's on the, the brush definition there. This is the variable width profile. You can go in here and actually create uh, some variable width, for example taper from thin to thick here with both the pencil as well as the brush tool. So you do have some options here but just remember that every time you click and drag with that pencil tool it defaults back. Once again I like to use that anytime I need the uh, a type on path tool because I'm not I'm typically not going to be using this path as an artistic path here. You can see there that's one use for it. Uh, moving onward Let's talk now about the actual blob brush tool. The blob brush tool allows you to draw a particular shape and then modify that shape and you can keep drawing and if you view an outline that's uh, control Y, command Y on the Mac, you'll notice what it does it actually creates one large shape. No matter what I do it just continues to add to that shape. By selecting it you can see that that shape is now all one large shape. Note also that it's actually creating a fill color. I'm going to try that something similar now with the actual brush tool. So I'm going to create these strokes here. Go to Command Y, and you notice the difference is the brush tool is creating strokes or individual paths with a artistic brush being applied to it, whereas the blob brush created this large blobby shape. Now the eraser tool will go in and erase holes into it. You can see I'm erasing holes, and on a that's for the blob brush, but on the brush or the pencil tool, if I click and drag, it cuts the path. So let's go back into our regular view here. Go ahead and uh, I can erase out uh, either from a fill color or actual paths, and I'm chopping this path up into smaller pieces. Uh, keep in mind that it will erase both of those. So that's a quick overview on how the pencil, the brush, the blob brush, and the eraser tool work. One last thing I want to mention is each of these tools has an advanced mode or preferences or whatever you want to call it. Just double click on the tool and you can see here where you can adjust uh, the smoothness, fidelity, and you have a whole array of options here. So now with this, you'll notice that that brush uh, sticks a lot more to the type of stroke that I did. And once again, it is available for all of these tools. Thanks again for watching. This is 5-Minute Tutorials. The best compliment you can always give us is a referral.